Welcome to our tutorial today on how to use Pixlr.com for editing photos for your website. So the first thing I do is go to Pixlr.com forward slash editor. And this screen will appear. And I'm going to start by opening an image from my computer. So I click on open image from computer. A box like this will pop up. And I'm going to click on install for this image and click open. Now once the image opens, some of the things that I'll look for are first, what size is the image? As you can see here, this is 4000 by 2667. That's a huge image. Big images like that are going to take a long time to load on a computer and ultimately slow down your website. So the first thing I'll do is go up to image. I'll click on image and then I'll go to image size. Now in this case, I already know the dimensions I want for this image, so I'm going to uncheck the constrained proportion. That will condense the image and it will make it look really small. But what I have to notice is down here, it will say 22%, so I will type in 100% and then that's, what, that's the way the image will look to the end user. One other thing I'm going to do is add a brand to the image so that if people want to use this image, it will have my logo on it. And I do that by clicking on File, and then I'm going to open an image. And I've actually saved this to the library. I'll find the image that I want and click Open. And there's the image I'm going to use for this picture. Now I'm going to click on this little check mark box. I'm going to highlight over, and then I'm going to push Control c to copy. Now I'm going to push control V to paste and I'll see that the image is pretty big so I'm going to push control T and that will allow me to shrink down the image to the size that I want. I'm going to drag it over here. Actually I'm going to try dragging it up here and see what that looks like this time. And I'll say yes I want to apply the changes and now I've edited an image. I'm going to now save. I'm going to use a keyword phrase for the name. I'm going to save it to my computer. And that's how we edit an image using pixlr.com forward slash editor.